today is gonna be all about food. I'm excited about that. I'm hungry. Today we're gonna eat our way through the city and try some of the best places in Oslo. A lot of people, they wonder if Norway even has a food culture. Yeah, I didn't think there was one until I came here. And we're actually gonna meet up with a local foodie. She told us to first meet her at Team Vendelbo. So let's find that, Katarina. I found her, Camilla. My name is Camilla. I share recommendations on where to eat and drink in Oslo. So where are we now, Camilla? Now we are at the Tim Vendelbo, really famous uh, coffee shop in Oslo. Tim Vendelbo, he is a multiple winner of Barista Championship in Norway, and he has also won the world champion barista at least one time. What is a barista? What signifies a Norwegian coffee? It's a more lightly roast than French or Italian coffee. So it's a bit more fruity. Okay. Three cappuccino alfredo, please. Come in right up. Like uh, having a drink. Yeah. This is probably the best coffee I've ever had, I think. It's sweet and nice, like a dessert almost. One of the best coffees I've had, I'm Stephanie. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Yes. Coffee, 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 coffee Spider-Man. Are we going here? Yeah. We already arrived to our second destination. We are at Soul Cake. They have really good cupcakes and cookies. It's run by uh, ladies that started during COVID and then they quit their jobs and just went full time. This one is passion fruit flavored and I love passion fruit. Mmm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> A lot of different nice textures, just blends perfectly in your mouth. Very pleasing uh, experience. We are now at Klokkadeli to have some breakfast slash lunch. They have the best sandwiches in Oslo. If you like uh, pastrami, I would definitely go for the pastrami ribbon. What is a pastrami? <laughs> You're part Italian, come on! <laughs> My Italian relatives are... They're turning in their graves. Oh. Mm. Perfect amount of spiciness, perfect amount of crisp. It's melting in my mouth. That was great. Now we're going to Harald's Waffel, and that is actually located just next door. I'm the waffle king of Norway. Here we have a lovely Norwegian waffle, heart shaped with the brown cheese, sour cream, and jam. Oh. If you come to Norway, you have to have waffles. And there's brown cheese in it. Classic Norwegian cheese. It's a really great combination. Mm. Now we're going to uh, Fiskeria. I'm a bit uh, full right now, but uh, is it like seven minutes walk? I think I could work up an appetite. <laughs> As we have four different seasons in Norway, the ingredients are also season-based, but we always have really nice fish. Now we are at Fiskeria uh, Fish Shop. They also have a restaurant. So this is fish cake. Mmm. 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 A good amount of fish taste. It's not too overpowering. Agree. I usually bite and make a fish burger at home with brioche bread and chili mayo and vegetables. It's super good and so easy. Fish in Norway, always a good experience. Now we are at the Cafeteria August, a really cool local restaurant and bar. It's new potatoes and asparagus that are both in season now and really good. What should we try to eat? Maybe Norwegian cheeses. A lot has happened during the Cheese World Championship in 2022. Norway actually had 82 cheeses that participated and 41 of them actually got a medal. Thank you, I'm not sure. I haven't tasted anything like this before. It was nice, but I don't know how to describe it. Let me try. Overall experience here is that the ingredients are really nice and everything feels very like authentic. Oslo has gone from being more or less anonymous when it comes to the food scene to being more dynamic and uh, continental and a lot of new places are opening all the time. We are outside the Isakaya. It's a really cool and cozy local spot with great Japanese food. And it opens now and people were actually waiting in line. Yeah, you have to be here at 5 or maybe 15 minutes before if you want to grab a table. Cheers! 
We're just letting Camilla order everything for us. We trust her. Ooh, interesting. So I think this is maybe the best dish on the menu here, actually. <laughs> sesame. I love sesame sauce. It's, it has um, a very grounded, uh, earthy flavor. I really like dumplings, so I'm excited about this. I really like Kung Fu Panda, so I'm also excited. <laughs> Proper dumpling. Yeah, good dumpling. What's this then? It's nice. Well, this is really nice. <laughs> Very nice, in fact. I like I like the shape of um, pasta. The noodles. Noodles. All right, girls. Are you full? Oh, I'm so full. <laughs> what was uh, your favorite for today? Today, I understand why people drink a lot of coffee. Yeah, but, but that, that first cappuccino is, is not a regular cup of coffee. So. Well, then I don't understand why people drink a lot of coffee then. No, but, but that was amazing. I, I really enjoyed the, uh, this place and also the, the Locadelli where we had some sandwiches. I really uh, realized that uh, Norway is quite... quite... Um, uh, thank you very much for helping us out today. Yeah, it was a pleasure. But I just feel I Promise. haven't shown you enough places. You know? Oh, you're so sad. Like, oh. <laughs> so please tell us what place you'd like to visit. Our journey continues, Katarina. So follow along and we'll see you next week. Wait.